I recorded my vocal right now, which sounds like this. It's completely dry. Let me shed my voice. I can see my tears floating in your eyes now. I mean, it has a Valhalla room on it, so like a reverb and stuff. And Auto Shift is the new auto tune from Ableton, which is released soon, hopefully. It's right now in the beta, and I, oh, beta, and it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, when we turn it on. Let me shift my voice. I can see my tears floating in your eyes now. As you can hear, when we look at the amount right now, the higher you turn it up, the more it gets wobbly, which is like kind of the vibrato. <laughs> really hardcore. And I put it there where the long notes are, so we get like a nice, sweet vibrato effect here. Which is pretty nice, so it's like really like natural and you can go it up with that. Then we have also the formants, which is like the... This kind of effect. Which is pretty cool. The cool thing about that is now, you can set your root note here where your chords are playing. Like my root note is right now F minor. And you can even set up the keys as you want it to be. If you want to like remove some keys which doesn't like fit your kind of pitch tracking. We have the smoothness which is setting the steps of the keys directly when we set it completely to zero. We have like kind of the T-Pain effect. See my tears floating in your eyes now. Which is like really hard. Can you, see my you can tell it. I put it to 27 milliseconds because I, I like it. It's kind of natural. This here with the strength is the correction like how strong is the correction of the autotune you can set it to make it a little bit less and you can see like kind of like a, as a dry and wet from the correction strength and the dry and wet itself when you turn it down you can hear like the detuned chorus effectness can you see my tears floating in your eyes now? which is pretty cool it's like pretty close actually and on the left side you have like high, mid and bass. High is like when you sing really high, mid is like when you sing like in the mid section kind of. And bass is when you have like a really low voice and you can set it at this point so it catches better the 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 tune of your, I mean the, the pitch of your vocal so it can pitch it better and, and correct it. And the LFO section is kind of pretty cool because you can automate even like the formants for example. Can you see my tears flooding in your eyes? Can you see my tears flooding in your eyes? And you can do it faster. Can you see my tears flooding in your eyes? Yeah, and you can also set the attack delay and I think even, yeah, LFO reset which is pretty cool. Um, everything else is pretty much in a rack automatable, which is pretty sick. You can even put a MIDI inside, which is cool, so you can r uh, route a MIDI to this and even just sing on it and just play with your piano, so it's just kind of, you completely play the notes like as you want it, which is pretty cool. This thing is also pretty nice if you want to like pitch the vocal up. Oh, let's turn that off. Can you see my tears floating in your eyes now? Not, of course now it doesn't work with the piano, but if we formant it now and if we make the f uh, formant follow on you can hear it f follows the formant kind of so it sounds more natural again which is also kind of cool I really like the formant to make like these kind of cool effects to layer it underneath your vocal so you have more a little bit of variation or maybe put it into the drop so you can play with that. Can you see my tears floating in your eyes now? So which is pretty nice. You can shift things before the autotune affects it even up or down. Can you see my tears floating in your eyes now? Can you see my tears floating in your eyes now? Can you see my I would not set it as a set. I would not like layer it together as a separate layer. I would re-sing it to make it sound more natural. But this is a cool feature just to. Um, I would not dry and wet it, but I would use it maybe the formants on it. And fuck with that a little bit. That could be cool. Yeah, it's like a cool way to experience new kind of variations to sing, I would say. Pretty nice. 
Um, we have a typical game just to input and boost it a little bit. That's nothing special. The live mode is kind of nice if you want to sing on a live stage or something. But I feel like the pitch is not good at that point yet. I feel like they need to correct this a little bit. But it's more better with the latency. And we have the button to just like fix it with the scale up what you have on here. What you have there if you want it. Or you can also do it manually. That's not a big problem. Fade in is cool if you want to fade in the vibrate a little bit more but you can do this manually by automating this stuff which is pretty cool already but this is actually it this is this is auto shift guys you need to check it out when it's out on a in ableton itself because you can do a lot of things and i think i can say goodbye to antares auto tune now and just use that one i mean this one sounds pretty good so far and it's also really low latency so if i um even copy a lot of instances with that thing it works really well even though I have my like let's say deform and pro uh, like process a little bit like which is pretty cool works pretty well too and if I even delete that and we delete that one and we just duplicate that one look at that we are like no CPU usage so far. It's like insane good. I mean, this is this is crazy. And if I think about it, if we use like Auto Tune from Antares, it's like so CPU intense. So this is a game changer. So this is literally a game changer. So props to Ableton, much love, and I hope you fix also soon the multiple fates thing. Thank you. Much love goes out. Bye bye.